so welcome back to the channel today we do this look together it's a fun flirty valentine's day look um i hope you guys enjoy watching it and i use a couple different different things today which i do mention but if you have any questions about what i used ask me in the comments down below and i'll be more than happy to answer your questions but yeah we do this hair and this makeup look we do the hair in the next video so watch that one and then we do the makeup in this video so if you want to see how i do it please keep watching okay guys let's just get right in um i have a fluffy brush over here that looks like that um and also don't mind the, the towel um we're gonna do hair at the end um, I have like three different palettes here. Actually, no, two different palettes here. One random Z palette that I made. It has all Makeup Geek um, eyeshadows. And then I have the Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette, which we will be using today. I want to use that pink diamond color that's in there. It's so pretty and it's so sparkly. I just like, I love it. Um, okay, so let's just go right in. I'm going to use a transition color that I have in my Z palette. It's like a light um pinky color i'm gonna go right into the trans transition area and we're doing a valentine's day look today right so this is gonna be just fun and flirty and just you know valentine's -y. And I'm just packing that in like that. Um, do you guys have Valentine's Day plans? What are your plans? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, we don't really have plans as of yet. Nothing that I know of unless Faisal is surprising me with something or he just has something planned. Faisal's not a very big surprise kind of guy. Like, he doesn't surprise he doesn't do surprises really because he likes to get my opinion on things <laughs> so he doesn't really do surprises so we might just do something ourselves like plan something ourselves together at some point just blended that out a little bit I know my under eyes look crazy today. I don't know why. Um, but, you know, it's a process, so let's just stick to it. And I am happy with that color. Now I want to deepen that pink a little bit. So I'm going to go into a brown shade with that same fluffy brush. I'm using just like a neutral medium brown tone color and I'm going to add it to the corners of the eye. Like so. And I knew I was going to use this brown color. That's why I didn't do my face makeup beforehand. Because, you know, whenever you have, like, dark shadows or honestly any multiple shadows on your eyelid, if you're planning on doing that, just do your eyes first. It just keeps your face clean, like, so that when you're done with your eyes, you can go in and do your foundation and you have, like, a super clean complexion, you know? You don't have, like, fallout from all the eyeshadow because eyeshadow always falls out, like, always. Like, no matter, whenever I say that I'm not going to drop any, I drop it. I do. There's always fallout. So I'm just kind of placing that brown on the outer. Okay, I'm content with that brown. I don't want to make it too deep and dark. I'm just trying to keep it like, you know, I just wanted to deepen it with a little brown blended it out a little bit and then now we're gonna go in with our fun color um i'm gonna use let's see what brush shall we use 
Okay, I'm gonna use this flat like shader brush that looks like that. And I'm gonna go into the color Pink Diamond in our rose gold palette. Oh, I love this color. So pretty. And I'm gonna spray it, of course, to get the most color payoff. And I'm going right on our eyelid. You see how pretty that is? I need to zoom you guys out. There we go. You see that? And I'm taking it all into the inner corner as well. My entire lid, like so. What do you guys think? Isn't that such a gorgeous color? The shimmery pink. I swear it's gonna look 10 times better once we're done with the whole look. And to stretch the eye out and get like super smooth um, like coverage with the color, I just like to hold the eye taut like this. And that way it's like super smooth surface and it's tight. And you can just kind of glide your brush across. Like so. Oh, I just love that pink color. It's so like foiled and like just shimmery. So pretty. Okay, now that we're done with that, I'm going to do a little, little tiny bit of a, of a um, wing. This is like kind of dry. Shake it around a little bit. Okay, never mind, we did a lot big of a wing. <laughs> but you can never go wrong with the wing. I mean, you know. I got some bottom corner here and I don't want it there. Like so. Like so. I gotta say, I gotta say, I miss my Inglot gel liner. I'm just so lazy to use it just cause it's like a gel, you know, and with the, you have to use a brush separately. Like these are just so easy, like um, liquid liners, you know? Just because it's a pen, but I need, but like these burn on my eyelid too. So I need to just use gel. I need to just 
I, why am I so lazy about things? I need to get it together. My nose is running. You guys, does anyone have like a solution to like um, allergies, like a runny nose? Because I try so many things and nothing works. Let me know if anyone has a solution. Like I got this Flonase spray. Um, it's supposed to help with allergies and runny nose. But I don't know if it does. It says it doesn't work right away though. So I don't know like how long term of, of an effect it is. I don't know. But it's like super annoying because I always rub my makeup off in this area because I'm always rubbing my nose. It's so annoying. Okay, now that we're done with the eyes, um, let's move on to the face. And we'll do under eyes after we do concealer. So I'm going to go in with a primer. We'll do the Poreless Putty Primer by e.l.f. And we are using a good amount. These primers work, guys. These poreless primers, especially these e.l.f. ones, so good. I did. I had it on, on yesterday, too. Like, I did my makeup, and it looked so good. Um, it just looked really good. My face looks so super smooth and clean. Okay, and then I'm going to go right into my Born This Way foundation. And... I'm going to grab my favorite brush of all time and dab it on first. And then blend. How are you guys doing today? What's new? Oh yeah, so Valentine's Day plans. What are you guys' plans? I'm curious. Let me know. Do you guys plan things ahead of time for Valentine's Day? Or like, do you just kind of like, ladies, or do you expect your, your man to have something ready for you for Valentine's Day? What do you guys do? I feel like people do different things in different phases of their life, you know? I feel like we're just at a phase, like me personally, we're at a phase where we enjoy staying at home the most. Like, whenever we go out, we find ourselves itching to come back home. Home is just, we're such homebodies, like it's insane. Hold on, my towel is like, okay. But yeah, I was saying like we're such homebodies, it's ridiculous. Um, but I we prefer it that way, honestly. Being home is like it's so comfy and cozy and you don't have to deal with like crazy people and the world. <laughs> I'm such an introvert, can you tell? Like I like to have like my few people and then like that's it, like I'm good. Too many people, it like gives me anxiety. Um, okay, what was I doing? Oh, let's do concealer. I'm gonna do a little, little tiny bit of my Juvia's Place concealer for some brightness. I am just setting the face now with my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish and this really big fluffy round brush. I love this brush. It's like rounded and it's big and it's just like soft as well. I feel like soft brushes 
really do serve a really good purpose like th the fact that they're soft they provide a really smooth finish i really do i really do think so like you know really rough brushes like the natural bristle brushes i don't know what those are really good for honestly like they i mean i have some eye brushes like that but i still prefer my soft smooth ones the synthetic brushes i think they're just better they just provide a smoother finish I just don't have that many. I need to like get more brushes. Says the girl who has like a drawer full of brushes. Like if I showed you my, if I showed you guys my drawer full of brushes, you'd be like, I mean, I don't have that many, but I have a drawer full of brushes. I think that's plenty. Like people who have like other, like I guess influencers and makeup artists and stuff who have like a room full I don't know what you do with that many brushes. Like, you do you really use that many? Because I barely use, like, a quarter of mine. Um, but I guess, like, you go through brushes quickly. I don't know. But good brushes last. Like, you don't need to replace them all the time like that. So, again, I don't know what the point is to have, like, a ton of brushes. Um, okay. Bronzer. I have my butter bronzer here. And I'm going to bring it out to the nose as well. like a contour with my bronzer. How many of you guys are worried about my white towel? It's okay. Thankfully, I like, I, I keep my... Mama! Let's go in with our blush. I have... You know what I need? I need to get more blush brushes for blush. I have my Milani brush blush here. You know, the little rose ones. I'm going to use my brush and just go in with that. Ah, there's something on my cheek. I'm gonna do lots of blush today. It's Valentine's Day, okay? What better excuse to wear lots of blush than on Valentine's Day? You get to be girly and just fun and flirty and just... <laughs> I think it's funny when people describe things as flirty. Like, what does that mean? <laughs> But it's a term, right? So, okay. Um, cheeks are done, and let's do bottom lash line now. Get a small detail brush like this, and what do I want to do? I'm gonna go in with that pink color that we used for our transition color. And I'm just gonna go in with that all across the bottom. Like that. like so and then you know what just for fun you know what i'll do i'm gonna get that um rose gold color the gorgeous 
um, pink diamond color and I'm gonna add some to our bottom inner corner like so like that I don't know if you guys can see that but like that I think that's such a fun like pop of color right there okay now that we are done with that I'm going to you know what I want a nose contour a little bit more so I'm gonna go ahead grab my bronzer just to Get that nose snatched, you know? There we go, that's better. Um, let's do lips. like so and then let's do a super fun pink look this is the color fresh cut this is by i think it's ColourPop cosmetics liquid lip Like so. That looks so neon and that looks neon and fun. I love it. I never do a bright pink lip like that, so. And let's do mascara and lashes. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna do mascara because I'm having a hard time applying lashes with mascara on. So let's just grab our lashes. Where do they go? Here they are. You know what my daughter did? She took all my false lashes and she stuck them on the side of my table and she said she made funny faces out of them. So I had to like peel all of them off of there again. Okay. I'm gonna get my lash. Lash glue. This is a duo dark one. Okay. What's new with you guys? What is happening? Okay, I have my lashes on and I did a little bit of mascara as well. Um, I'm gonna go in with my highlight now. And lately, I've been really enjoying like a really dewy cheek look. So I kind of do this to get like a dewy effect. First, you know, you put it, the highlight where you normally put it, right? And then I kind of like to spread it out this way to get like a dewy cheek look, you know? You guys see that shine? I love that. So I'm going to apply it right here. And then I'm going to kind of spread it out. 
around it on the temple as well right here you know just like that spread it out I can probably get a better color pay off with some and then if you feel like you need to go in and fix your blush a little bit after that go ahead and do that because blush always fades like real fast I feel you know like so and let's do hair. Okay, we have this crazy wet hair mess here. And I'm gonna go in with my dry bar hair tool thing. To do this hair. And don't mind the mess in the back. Okay guys, so I'm done with the makeup look. Um, I'm about to do hair, so watch my next video to see how I do this crazy mess of a hair um, and I turn it into something pretty and just fluffy and voluminous. So look at my next video.